And good afternoon, good evening, welcome to The Sprint. You already know it's time to get those smiles ready because we are going over several different stories that will make you feel good about what's happening in our community, whether it's a call to action, whether it's something viral that you guys want us to chit-chat about, or if it's something that just makes you want to say yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what this story is coming up next that we're going to be talking about later on in the sprint. Check it out. This, if you're looking at your screen right now, we're talking about a wrestler in the right place at the right time. Subway worker, thankful for his quick actions. We chat about this. Get to all what you had to say in the comment section about how happy you were that this guy stepped in when he needed to to protect the subway worker from getting attacked. But first, check this out, guys. I am a big, huge stickler on um, preventing abuse of any kind in our area or just in, in the nation in general. You know, um, Governor Glenn Youngkin working to prevent labor trafficking in the Commonwealth. Again, uh, he signed a bill into law to prevent what most people call modern day slavery. Uh, this formally criticizes those who profit off of labor, which is considered, again, modern, modern day slavery. Methods can include debt bondage, use of violence, and sometimes threats of deportation. It says that we're told that it accounts for a large portion of human trafficking cases in Virginia. Now, when I was taking uh, college courses about Spanish lit and all that stuff, this is one of the things that uh, was one thing that we did learn about, where unfortunately you have a lot of people who are coming over here with the best intentions of trying to get a better life. You know, they're trying to do it, you know, the right way. Uh, and when they get here, they find places where they can work. And unfortunately, uh, they work for very cheap labor. And some people take advantage of these individuals because they know that they're in a vulnerable position and be willing to do anything that they can to stay in the country or to stay with jobs or to stay making money. You know, so anything like that, I am 100 percent opposed to. So that's why I'm all about this bill. Uh, Youngkin ain't playing no games. We're trying to protect people from getting abused in our society. So if you guys want to see more about this bill, go to our website at WSLS.com. Another good that is coming out of the Commonwealth. And speaking of preventing abuse, there is also another good story that we told you about a little bit yesterday. And obviously, Sydney Jacksheimer did a great job breaking down the uh, emergency phones that the Roanoke uh, Regional Blacksburg Airport put in the bathrooms to prevent human trafficking uh, and sex trafficking of that nature. So it's so a huge uh, breakdown of how those phones work, how quick it would be to get in touch with a law for, uh, enforcement officer uh, to get somebody in there to help. Again, the bathroom is typically one of the safest places that separates uh, an abused victim between them and the trafficker. So, yeah, go to our website. Check that story out. It's one of my favorite stories because, again, it's one of those resources that I think is very, very important because we live in a sick world nowadays where people try to take care of people for no reason at all. All right. Moving on to another good that's happening in our community, Carillion Clinic, Blue Ridge Cancer Care, and Feeding Southwest Virginia, all partnering up to launch the first clinic-based food pantry for cancer patients. It's located at Carillion Clinic's Cancer Center facility is a shared space for patients that can talk with medical experts from all the institutions. This new initiative will provide crucial nutritional support for tailored that's tailored for each cancer patient, says the patron Patry. Pantry, Jeff, if I can talk, will be opening today representatives for each organization gathering. So, yeah, another cool deal right there. Always trying to help the most needy in our community, especially cancer patients themselves. They already got a lot on their plate with trying to balance out chemo treatments and, and medical bills and stuff like that. So the fact that they got this pantry available for those uh, individuals that are dealing with that. Always a cool deal right there. So something else that is also a cool deal in our community that we like to kind of highlight and recognize, WSLS partnering with the American Red Cross again this year. You're right. This is the uh, American Rescue Heroes that are happening right now that they kind of give uh, a lot of big celebration of these individuals who put others uh, before themselves. So it's a recognition, recognition of people doing good in the communities across Southwest Virginia. Uh, and this year's law enforcement here Hero goes to Matthew Wilburn. This is what he is right there, a retired investigator with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office and currently a court security officer for the United States Marshals Service. In February, he was driving down I-81 
when he saw a tractor trailer crash into the median, flip over and then explode. He didn't, uh, didn't hesitate. He immediately jumped into action, saving the driver. Uh, he did get hurt in the process, but he will be honored at the celebration of Heroes Breakfast, along with all the other heroes on April 18th at the Hotel Roanoke. And we'll tell you about all the other heroes every morning right here on Virginia Today leading up to that. Again, this is something that is really cool. Every year we kind of highlight and recognize uh, great, great heroes that have done something that made them stand out in the community, saved a life, made a difference in the community, you know, and it's always cool uh, when they're able to be celebrated for one good day. Uh, that breakfast is always cool. Last year I emceed it and it was super duper fun uh, being able to see all of them together in one room under the same roof and then all of their supporters there as well. So again, congratulations to uh, Mr. Wilburn, because again, he definitely, definitely deserves that. And again, we're going to be featuring more heroes throughout the days leading up to the 18th when the actual uh, the breakfast takes place. Our very own Jenna Zipton will be emceeing it this year. So you want to learn more about Mr. Wilburn, go to our story on WSLS.com. Check out that story right then and there. Today is National Vitamin C Day, which means you may want to grab you an orange or a glass of orange juice because, again, this is something that's an important part of all of our diets. Doctors say that it helps to fight colds, reduce blood pressure, and even lower the risk of heart disease. Vitamin C also helps keep skin healthy by protecting it from sunlight, heat, and pollution. I absolutely love orange juice. You know, one day I'm going to hold a debate, uh, kind of like a poll in some sort, asking people, hey, do you drink orange juice with ice? I do, and uh, for some reason, people think I'm crazy. Whenever they go out to eat breakfast with me and I say, can I have orange juice with some ice, they think I'm crazy. And I don't know why, because I, I absolutely love orange juice with ice. I like my orange juice super cold. Sue me. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys do? Do you guys like drinking orange juice with or without ice? We're going to have that kind of question out there. I want, I'm just curious to see who's going to answer it, and who's on Team Jaff with the ice and the orange juice. Um, if you're waking up today and your heart was set on winning the Powerball jackpot, you might be disappointed, as I am. I literally had everything ready to go. I was just like, Lord, this is it. Fingers crossed. And once again, like I always do, I match two numbers this time instead of one. Two numbers on two different tickets, so it kind of didn't matter. And all the, like, I, I got in touch with all of my friends that are in different parts of the earth, or not earth, but the country, and more populated areas, and was trying to say, okay, you guys get tickets there, you guys get tickets there, and let's see what happens. No, we didn't have any luck. But one person in Christiansburg got luck because even though nobody won the ultimate jackpot prize, this joker walked away with a million dollars, and she did so accidentally. Check out this story, okay? This is Miriam Long. She wanted to actually buy a Mega Millions ticket. She says that the Mega Millions jackpot was getting a lot of attention, an estimated jackpot reaching $1 billion, and had to try her luck. But she accidentally hit the button for the Powerball ticket on the Virginia lottery machine, and that accidentally ended up winning her a $1 million. It must be Nice. So there's a chance that you could have won uh, smaller prizes as well. Last night's drawing, the winning numbers were 11, 38, 41, 62, 65, and 15. If you won't or if you didn't win anything, make sure you sign your ticket as soon as possible. But yeah, Ms. Long, I'll tell you, man, you, you're doing it right. I, I, I am done trying to be intentional about winning the lottery. I think I'm going to accidentally, I'm, I'm, somehow or another, I got to figure out how to do this accidentally because apparently... That's what a lot of people are doing. They're winning accidentally, and they're winning a lot of money. For example, we got another guy we got to talk about right here. This dude was a tourist from Hawaii going to visit Las Vegas. So he won the jackpot on a Wheel of Fortune slot machine worth nearly $1.2 million. So that is a lot of dough for a spin that cost him only $10. Now, though, according to Zillow, it's only enough to buy a slightly better than average house of Hawaii. Average home price there is $839,000. Who cares, man? You could easily just get yourself an apartment and live off that $1.2 million for the rest of your life. That's crazy. And again, he did it in a way where somebody like, I don't even think that this was a, a, a purposeful, intentional thought of knowing that he was going to win anything. Put $10 in a slot, you know, rung it up. And next thing you know, he is now a millionaire. So 
I say this again, it must be nice. It must be nice. One day, though, somebody from Virginia is going to win that big, big, big pot of gold. And I cannot wait because when they do, I will at least have hope for the next jackpot and be like, okay, so it can happen here. We shall see. All right, guys, we got to get to meteorologist Chris Michaels with our weather forecast for the past couple of days. It's been some severe weather. They've been having weather authority alert days issued, trying to keep you guys on top of the news as far as what's going on in our forecast. Well, it was very, very cold this morning. Will that warm up? I don't know. Maybe relatives Chris Michaels is joining us right now with our Thursday forecast. Happy Thursday, guys. Windy and cold here the next few days and some even scattered snow showers in parts of the New River Valley and Highlands today. The bulk of accumulation is going to happen on those western slopes. Thursday through Saturday, gusts of 20 to 40 miles per hour and morning lows through the weekend in the 30s. We'll warm up, though, heading into next week. Thank you so much, Chris. So coming up after the break, you already know we got more news coming your way. A lot of cool things. For example, I want you guys to take a guess. How much do you think the most expensive women's basketball ticket is going for the NCAA? Just get a guess. And guess why it's so expensive in comparison to the men's basketball games. Okay, we're going to get into that. Super exciting news. We're going to talk about uh, an inmate who decided that he was going to try to escape his hospital. Uh, that was a very interesting story. We got that caught on camera. And we're talking about this, which was also caught on camera, a wrestler in the right place at the right time, protecting a subway worker and taking down an assailant. We're going over all that and more and what you guys had to say in the comment section coming up next on The Sprint. Welcome back to The Sprint, guys. We're keeping it going. Got some more news coming your way. For example, I asked you guys, how much did you guys think uh, the most expensive basketball ticket was for the women's game when the NCAA uh we're going to get to that real quick because I, I don't think you guys understand how many people are excited about watching the women play in comparison to the men so check this out final four tickets are now selling for more than double what the men's cost women's tickets have averaged more than twenty three hundred dollars the past couple days that number is about a grand for more or for the men's final four, it says that most analysts say that it's because of Iowa's Caitlin Clark, which I do not doubt whatsoever because, get this, this is her senior year. This is possibly her last game, and you guys have seen how much of a beast this girl is. Like, literally, I have never paid attention to women's basketball game, like basketball period. I know a lot of people can join me on that, but she is one of the people who brings the eyes to the screen because, man, She's like a, a, a female Steph Curry. She could just pop a three from any part or place of the court. It is crazy. But get this. The most expensive seat to see the women play tomorrow runs more than $11,000. If you got just $11,000 just hanging around and you that wealthy, okay, go ahead with the bad self. But that just lets you know at how exciting of an event this is. I can't wait to watch it. I'm definitely going to be paying attention to it because, again, that girl, like, she, she is, like, unheard of. Watching her uh, play against LSU was just, like, I was just on the couch like, whoop, is she going to make it? Whoop, like, the whole time. Whoop, the whole time, every ball, most of the balls, I think over 40 points, that joker was just killing the game. So, yeah, shout out to Caitlin Clark, making a difference and inspiring so many in women's basketball. I hope, I pray that her future is definitely a big, beautiful one because she she's off the chain. All right, so let's get into this crazy criminal kind of situation, okay? Take a look at this video. You see him right there. A man under arrest in New Mexico. He made a last-ditch effort to get away from authorities. Taken to the hospital, complaining about chest pain. When he asked to go to the bathroom, he tried to escape in the ceiling. What in the world, man? Bro, come on now. So police were able to catch him, fortunately, and the nurses gave him a clean bill of health uh, so that he could be discharged and taken to jail can you imagine the damage that he did? Like, what, you, what, what were you going to go, man? Like, literally, I, I just, you would just, you never know what people are thinking when they commit certain crimes and offenses. But, bro, come on now. This, this ain't no TV kind of thing. Look at him going to the bathroom. Swivel guy. <laughs> like, come on now. You knew good well. You need your tailbone for that. But, yeah, like, like I said, hey. 
I guess. I will n I will never know it, except for the fact of the matter is that this guy is in custody to begin with. You never know what people would do to uh to continue their um crime streak. So he obviously has a lot of charges on his list now, but we got something else that's kinda crazy and kinda bizarre. We're gonna play the whole story because I absolutely love to see good Samaritans step in and help when they can. The biggest thing, my biggest pet peeve, period, if you know me. I will say this constantly, what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And if wrong is happening, people who are doing right to correct that wrong is always somebody that I will always respect and pay respect to. So this was caught on camera in Indianapolis. It's a subway employee dealing with a rude customer. When I mean rude, you're going to see just how rude he is. Uh, this dude stepped in and stopped this rude customer from attacking a subway worker. We got Griffin Gonzalez. He spoke to the customer who went out of his way in order to save the worker. Check it out. So obligated, man. Um, I just acted, but I'm glad I did it. Franklin resident Gabriel Pizzullo works a couple blocks from this subway on East Tana Avenue on the city's south yep. side. And do a foot long, do white flatbread. The former wrestler comes in a couple times a week, but on March 22nd, his visit took a dramatic turn. I had heard it from outside. Um, I had walked in and he was visibly assaulting, um, you know, throwing stuff. I believe I saw him spit at her. Um, and how I was raised, man, you don't do that stuff. Um, and it was kind of go time from there. Gabriel, seen here, says he tackled Daniel Saunders to the ground as he was trying to leave. He held him down until police arrived minutes later to make an arrest. She didn't seem like she could defend herself in any such way. And I was afraid that he was either leaving to get something to harm her. She had said that um, he had threatened to kill her. Yeah, I did combat sports for quite a while. Um, so I was completely controlling. I didn't want to punch him or anything. I didn't want to hurt him too bad. So I just held him, man. The manager is grateful that someone was there to keep his employees safe. Uh, luckily, he was here at the right time in the right place. And um, I'm very thankful that my employees weren't damaged. And he's calling Gabriel a hero. Definitely a hero. Like, you don't have to be an ordinary person. You can be a hero anytime or anywhere, wherever you go. But Gabriel wouldn't use that word to describe himself. Uh, all glory to God, man, for real. And I don't feel like a hero, but I'm glad I did it. So yeah, talk about a hero. I don't care what you say. And it was it's one of those things where one, I hate to see a man attack a woman. That's one of the lowest things that you can do. I say this all the time, like you're pathetic. If you are, if you stoop that low to where you try to overpower a woman, that's the first thing. Second thing, if you that disrespectful and that rude and that upset, I don't care what you're going through in your life. I don't care how frustrated you are. I don't care if she screamed at you. Get out the building before you do something that's just so disrespectful and unnecessary. You know, putting your hands on what is, how, how did that, how was that even going to solve anything? One, uh, look, I'm going through all type of facts. One, two, three. Either way, more than anything, thank God that he was in there. And I'm so happy that obviously him being a wrestler, he, you could just tell the way he took this person down. He knew exactly what he was doing. He wasn't, you know, trying to take this guy's life. He wasn't trying to do excessive force. If anything, I'm so happy he did what he did because guess what? A person that violent attacking someone at, like at the, at the counter, no telling what they were going to do when they went outside and ran into somebody else that might have been smaller than them. So I'm all about stories like this. Do what you got to do to protect each other and look out for each other. And you guys agree with me. So with that, let's get to the comment section. All right, so again, we're talking about a wrestler in the right place in the right time in Subway stopping an attacker from hurting a Subway worker. Check this out. One of the comments came in and says, nice work. Wrestlers will keep the peace in the Midwest. 100%. Next comment coming in from Leo. Leo says that wrestlers have superpowers. And you know what? I agree with that because, again, they can subdue. How many stories have we seen where you see these fighters who are trained to do a sport but can actually apply that to real life in, in scenarios where it can be useful uh, the most and needed the most. This particular commenter says that a Gabriel to the rescue, named after an archangel for a good reason, I ditto. I love that 100%.
Our next commenter is coming and says that give that man free subs for life. 100%. I, I, at least at that location. This is a place that he frequents and he loves him some Subway. I 100% would say, hey, yo, bro, sandwiches are on us for the rest of your time. You and your family, you can eat as much as you want because because of you, my worker is safe today. <laughs> and then coming up with this commenter, Another one, uh, he says that right on, everyone can do their part. Hashtag do something, hashtag say something, hashtag help each other, or we will continue to watch the darkness get stronger. Hashtag God be with us. I am 100% dittoing that because, again, I, there, again there, there's nothing I hate more than to see people as bystanders uh, when they see some wrong is actually taking place. Do something about it. You know, help somebody out, especially if you see somebody in a helpless situation. And that's exactly what this guy did, man. I swear, like... Shout out to him. He will forever, ever go down into a history book of heroes uh, who do not wear capes. So let's bring in Jazzy Jazz right now. Jazz, are you with me? Yeah, good morning. Good morning, girl. This story uh, is one of a very few that we will see that would get the positive recognition that it deserves, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And I just don't understand what's wrong with customers to the point where they feel like they can put their hands on workers. Right. <laughs> and not only that, but they feel like they can do that and then get away with it. Oh, my I'm gosh. I'm glad someone stepped in. It's because, like, sometimes it feels like customers forget employees are human, too. Mm-hmm. And I don't even understand what led to that, but whatever happened does not justify him doing that. It's oh, a yeah. hard man that you can address problems and situations but that's just it's too much 100 <laughs> percent, yeah no i and and look he's lucky that this guy used his wrestling skills because honestly you know nowadays everybody carries you know this could have escalated to a point of no turning back you know uh so he's lucky that it was a wrestler who knew how to subdue him before police got there rather than someone just being trigger happy in the moment you know give him a second chance of life <laughs> It certainly could have escalated to a much more dangerous situation. Like you said, everyone carries. So this could have turned into something that it didn't. It certainly didn't have to if he would have approached it in a different way. So I'm glad this person was able to use his skills in wrestling and able to de-escalate the situation in an appropriate manner as opposed to pulling out a weapon mm -hmm. and ultimately creating a situation that didn't, didn't need to happen in the first place. Amen. And again, <laughs> like you said... Again, it gave this guy, even though he was in the wrong, it gives him a second chance to turn whatever in his, in his life around and to just think twice before you try to do something that uh, cowardly, in my opinion. Like I said, I don't care if it was a boy or girl, but women, when people try to do that to, to girls and, or to women to overpower them, ain't nothing that you can't be that mad in the world to do something that stupid. But yeah. hey, he got what he got. He got what he deserved. <laughs> Because you don't do stuff like that. You know, like, it's just common decency to approach a situation, regardless of what happens, in a mature way. You don't need to put your hands on anyone. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's not worth it. Again, he got what he deserved. And I hope he moves forward learning from that experience and making better decisions. Amen. Because I warns that sort of reaction. So I'm glad that someone stepped in to save the day. So that's good. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so, Jazz, switching gears, we got another cool contest for all of our insiders out there, especially if they like Earth Day. Won't you go ahead and talk about it? Oh, absolutely. So, we have an exciting few things for our insiders. All you need to do is head to WSLS.com. You, um, you'll need to submit a photo of nature, a drawing, a painting, anything that really conceptualizes Earth Day for you or just shows you to you, holds the meaning of Earth Day. A winner will be selected randomly, and the winner will be given a twenty, um, a two hundred and fifty dollar gift card. Um, so that's really cool. It closes on April twenty first at eleven fifty nine p.m. Really exciting. Again, it could be anything that really represents Earth Day for you. Um, so head to wslist.com. All you need to do is sign up to be an insider, which is also completely free. 
Again, we're giving away a two hundred and fifty dollar gift card to the lucky winner. Yeah, and speaking of uh, pinning and all that good stuff, make sure those pictures count because you can only do one entry. For example, I just want to talk about this real quick, Jazz. This right here is textbook. Is this not the most textbook picture? This beautiful oh, yeah. girl, Rhonda Akers, thank you so much for sending this in. She says, just a little girl and her bubbles. 100% this belongs on the cover of a book, does it not? Oh, absolutely. It's so adorable. And when I saw it yesterday, I knew immediately that I needed to post it to all of our social media accounts. <laughs> it's just too cute not to share. And it made me smile, made the newsroom smile, and it's I just felt the need to just share with others to make them smile as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful memory. And I'm sure this little girl will remember this experience. Oh, wow. You're just amazing. And I love seeing her so happy with her cute little Easter dress on. <laughs> yes. So, yes. Guys, get your pictures in and make them. Let this be the standards. If it's less than this, don't send it in. But if it's better, send it in, okay? <laughs> yes. You can send it in at wsls.com slash pennant. All right, Jazz. Do you have anything else for us, girlie? Yeah, ma'am. That's it for today. All right. Well, you have a great afternoon and great evening, okay? All right. Bye. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. Again, as you, as I mentioned earlier, the Sprint is all about fleshing out those good stories that are happening here on a local level that'll keep you kind of reminded of the good that's happening in our community, whether it's different issues that people are raising, whether it's things that uh, we're showing recognition to people for things that they've done in the past to help others, uh, viral videos or shocking videos like this wrestler who took down this subway person who was trying to attack a worker, you know, uh, stuff like that. We love just to give you guys that um, break from the heavy news of the day and the heavy news cycles that you'll see all the time. So thank you so much for taking those extra minutes to click on over to our website at WSLS.com to check out the Sprint. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. WSLS.com. We'll see you then on the Sprint. Take care.